Hello, just in response to your sort of diatribe, your personal statement in response to the earlier caller. Wonderful, wonderful goals. We, we all want everything perfect and now, but unfortunately for people like you and me, life ain't like that. Uh, well, if you said the that, reason, women wouldn't have been given the vote. But they were or, over time, you know. And we're I know, the, but you, they didn't get that done by going, oh, life's not fair progressively things move along better. Not without activists the, and people moving and well, shaking well, and creating let's change. Get to the point. Hang on. Let's have world yours. Let's uh, you're the, the one point. who took us down this cul-de-sac, Peter. So. No, no, there's no cul-de-sac, my dear. There's no cul-de-sac. The point being, as you asked about the Tories being ahead, 10 points. Right. The reason they're ahead, and I've actually never voted Tory, but I will now, next time. I've defaced a lot of ballot papers since Blair. The reason they're ahead is because the opposition is so appalling. Okay. The socialist opposition and the Greens and the bits and pieces there, they're, they're people who've never done anything. Now, if you want to knock all Tories, not the Tory who sorted the sub-postmasters uh, mess out. That man worked for years. There's people like that. So I, I, don't, I don't personally, I'm not personally very fond of, of the characters at the head of the Tory party or the Tory party. But I have no alternative. There's no way I can vote for a Labour party. I'm from a background where I used to vote Labour. I so what is it about the one. current incarnation of the Labour party that is so appalling to it's you? It's appalling. Look at, look at the deputy leader. I mean, they, they, you couldn't put these people in charge uh, of a public toilet. They, they've never done a proper job, as I suspect. People like you haven't. You know, journalism, fine. But if, has your name ever been All on right. the line for a Thanks, job? Peter. You can jog on, because um, if, for those who are wondering, I have spent the past 13 years visiting an average of three schools, colleges and universities throughout the UK and throughout the world, both delivering talks and conducting research on mental health, gender equality and related issues. And it was extremely hard work, and that's where my expertise come from. And I also received an MBE for my services to young people. So what have you achieved in your life, Peter? Not much, I suspect. 